guys. Today we're going to take a look at my home on wheels. I'll do my best to put timestamps in the description box. That way if you're busy you can skip around. I know when people do that I always appreciate it. And as far as why I live in this minivan, uh, that'll be a topic for a future video. And as always, I will leave a link to every single product featured in this video in the description box next to that like button. And without further ado, let's go. Okay, so this is my girlfriend. She is a 2009 Toyota Sienna LE. Unfortunately, it is front wheel drive, but I'm okay with that. So far, it's been just fine. Um, she is, of course, Japanese descent, but she was made in America. So if you have a cool name, that I should name her, let me know in the description. Starting from the ground up, we have the Falcon Wild Peaks AT All-Terrain Trails. These are uh, a few sizes bigger. I'll uh, Let me know if you want to know the exact tire size. I'll, I'll put it, uh, I'll respond to your comment. It is lifted. This is the Journeys Off-Road Kit, three and a half inches. And the tires are taller itself. So overall, I have about 12 inches of ground clearance. It's been pretty nice so far. Um, onto the windows, this is ceramic tint, 5% uh, limo all around. It's been great. It really regulates the temperature in there. When it gets really hot, I don't feel it in there. It's nice and cool, and it's really good for privacy. You can shine a really bright light in here, and you can't see in inside. I also have window visors here. Also great when it's raining, you can crack a window. Uh, great for condensation uh, dispersion. Up top, I have 325 watts of solar, and I also have a uh, Thule rack load bars. These are the longest bars they have. As you can see, they extend, but still um, within the rear view mirrors. I, can, I think that's a law. Nothing can extend past your rear view mirrors, so this is great. I intend on um, getting a Yakima road, sh road shower or something like that up here, um, just to kind of rinse off. We'll see. There's also a, a Thule box up there. I'll come around the other side and show you. And of course, there is a Max Air fan um, right into the right into the uh, roof there. Uh, it's a 14 by 14 square, if you're wondering, and it works great. Um, one thing I didn't add myself, someone else gave me this, was this little guy. It's uh, sorry, it's really dirty. I just got back from the desert, so that's cool and Coming around the back here This is a swing away hitch box. This is really awesome. I have a whole video uh, Dedicated on how I did this check that video out uh, Really cool it has a lot of extra space. It's perfect for when you don't want to put stuff in your living area Something smell something stinky or something like that or just to have extra space drop it in here it's under lock and key, and it swings swings back. Doesn't cover your essentials, um, and it's great. Coming around here, this is the Thule Frontier. It's 11 cubic feet of extra space. Perfect for skis, snowboards, or whatever you want. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or not. I'd like to get into drive-throughs and, and garages and stuff. Right now, most drive-throughs are not an issue. All right, let's check out the interior here. Um, pretty stock. The only thing I did add was this placemat. If you know anything about Toyotas, they get sticky. Uh, the dash does, that is. And they start to crack. So I put this on just as preventative. Um, a lot of the, the older Toyotas that would have this, the Forerunner, Sequoias, things like that, their dash is kind of... Uh, anyways, um, I also have these um, uh, seat covers. These are Costco specials. Um, 20 bucks. Had these for about a year or so. And they're, they're fine. I also have... Um, heated seats on both um, Haven't even turned that one on yet because I haven't found anybody crazy enough to travel with me coming in on the inside This is a Android head unit basically works just like a tablet You have the Play Store so you can download different apps you can see here. I have navigation Bluetooth Amazon music YouTube Prime video Here's the Play Store, but your navigation is there uses uh, Google Maps. When I bought it, I think it was $250. You can get this for a lot cheaper these days, probably 150 or so. There's also a spot for an SD card or even a map, um, a GPS card. You can download maps into your card in advance or 
things like that. It also comes with a Wi-Fi and a GPS receiver. I just have it tucked in here, routed to the back corner, if you could see that. And then I also have a mic routed, routed up and through here. This is nothing new, but I highly recommend it. Um, really cool. Again, don't be watching YouTube while you're driving, right? Coming down here, um, this guy um, plugs into your, your 12 volt cigarette uh, adapter, but it has so many different ports. It has four different uh, USB quick charge, very important distinction. And it also has three other um, 12 volt ports here, which I have my heated seats plugged into. Um, coming down here, these are just my uh, gas station Rhino pills, just your basics. Um, and I need to do some cable management I'm eventually going to get some covers in here, the plastic ones that line the entire the entirety of the front. That way when I go snowboarding or something or surfing, it won't get wet. I actually took out both armrests and installed a refrigerator. So let's take this off. And I just put some Reflectix on here just to help insulate it. It's kind of covered through the front and the side. So let's take a look. This thing can hold so much. This is a 58 or 55 quart, I believe. I love this thing. It keeps me fed, no problems. And it is ran off of some house batteries that I will show you in uh, just a bit. Another thing, I, I got some seat organizers. Um, I have two of them, one in the back here, one in the front, just to get little knickknacks, you know, um, organized. Let's head to the back and take a look. All right, coming on in, we got the sliding doors, a little mat here for your shoes. Coming on in, I did have a subfloor and some insulation all throughout and some um, sound deadening material. Inside, this here is a bed that converts into a couch. It's just on a continuous hinge. Bed mode to couch mode. Um, this is a 7-inch memory foam mattress that I got at Ikea. It is very, very comfortable. I actually sleep better in here than I sleep anywhere else. And I think if you're comfortable, you feel safe, that's when you get some good sleep. These curtains here are a little redundant uh, just because the tint does a great job. But if you, I added these in because if you have your laptop on or all your lights are on here, um, this adds another level of privacy. This is a blackout curtain. So I also have another one for the back window for all the windows. See that curtain there? Uh, coming on inside, this is all maple wood. Nice and clean looking, feels great. And I have these storage cubes for my clothes. I have like four or five of these and that stores all of my clothes. I still have too many clothes that I don't even use. And just these little storage containers to hold smaller items like a switch, um, some electronics and things like that. Coming around this way, I usually put all of my uh, dry goods in here and I have some appliances in here. I have a coffee maker, I have a blender, um, I have a rice cooker in here. Really quick, I wanted to show you the rice cooker I have. Look how small it is. Um, you just hit the button, cook and keep warm. This is how small the pot is. Perfect for one or two uh, people. It cooks two cups of water, or I'm sorry, two cups of rice. And it doesn't take up a lot of space. So this is, look how small this is. Nice and cute. Uh, next thing up is a portable blender. Uh, it just runs off battery. So you uh, open up this flap here. Okay. So this, unfortunately, it's micro USB, but that's fine. Charge it up, it's fine. Uh, really easy to clean. Top comes off, and this part comes off too. So you see that light blinking? It, it, it knows when that part's off, so it won't start. So it's a little safety feature. But this is great for little shakes, protein shakes, whatever you're into. This has been awesome, and you just charge it up. You don't have to turn on your inverter or anything like that. Next up is going to be the coffee maker here. Uh, this makes five cups. Again, look how small this thing is. I just put it in underneath this cupboard here. Um, it's been it's been awesome. All right, back to the video. This armrest here is the fridge I was telling you about. Again, I need to kind of redo this because the the tolerances are so slight. Um, this is where my armrest used to be, 
and me and my buddy Evan literally had to uh, cut, grind it down in order to fit this fridge. But it's great because it doesn't take up that much space. It works as an armrest and um, it holds a lot of space. Uh, imagine it being here. You don't have a lot of space for more than one person. But this is great. It tells you um, your degrees inside, what the voltage is reading, um, and you can adjust it here. There's different modes too. I keep it on low. That way it keeps the, the fridge running. Again, if you want to see what's inside, a ton of stuff. I mean, you could fit so much only thing is that it is a uh, top-down type of fridge so if you have something all the way at the bottom you have to kind of take everything out and re redo it every single time that kind of becomes a pain you know what I'm gonna just gonna rip that off later have some weights down there uh, nice to have get a little workout on this little pocket I just keep um, um, like for instance whoops for instance this one here is uh, I think, yeah, this is just all my van stuff. So this is like, I was thinking about how I can build this bed. Um, and this is the, the, the dimensions of the, of the inside. I recommend you definitely draw out your ideas. Um, it just goes on and on. Um, this is, you know, water tank, different ideas I was thinking about, uh, how much things cost, how, uh, figuring out the power source and, uh, how long it would take to charge. Um, this is how I, this is the order, my build order, ceiling insulation and detonant material, wall insulation, floor insulation, etc, etc. Kind of want to do it in a certain order that makes sense. This is, I was thinking about making a water tank, um, putting it to a pump and figuring out the dimensions and things like that. Uh, more bed stuff. I was really trying to figure this out. Uh, van costs. I can go through this in another video of how much everything costs. Um, yep, so I'll put that back. So actually it's very comfortable in here. I am 6'1", um, and I sleep in here great. And I do everything in here when it was raining and super windy the other day. I spent all of the day in here on my laptop, my phone, eating, cooking up here. Really no complaints. It does get tight when there's two people in here. You kind of have to coordinate and be cordial to each other. Um, up here, if you're wondering what that is, um, I took out the stock DVD player. Uh, it was so old technology. It was cool, um, but I, I don't need it. So what I'm going to do is install a drop-down TV that uh, kind of takes up this, this middle section. And then it, it will fold back up when you're in drive mode and then drop back down when you're in chill mode and I'm gonna have a curtain that comes around to kind of uh, separate the front of the cab to the back of the cab um, now let's take a look at the back end so here we go this is this is obviously in bed mode now so as you can tell I think this is uh, 77 or 78 inches long again I could take exact measurements if you really want me to just ask in the comments um, but this is how it is. I had intentions on maybe covering this up, but it's actually nice to get things back here. It's a really deep drawer that goes in here. So I have my gym bag and a lot of different other bags in here. Uh, this is my drone. Underneath here is uh, three 100 amp hour batteries. Yes, yes, you the man. <laughs> this is my charge controller, it's kind of hard to see. It's just a, uh, one of the cheaper ones, but it seems to work really well with my simple system. Uh, my fuse box is right there. Right now I only have three inputs, um, the fan, the refrigerator, and this guy right here coming on up. I have a little plug here. Tells you some voltage 14.8, sun's out right now. So those are the only three things so far, but it has slots for eight. And there's also a USB up here. Um, uh, excuse me, a slot for 12. So six per side here. There's also a 100 amp fuse and a battery isolator. So I can actually juice up the batteries with my alternator. 
Um, again, this is that IKEA uh, seven-inch memory foam. It's really, really comfortable. Ooh, there's sand everywhere. Um, and this is my sleeping bag. What I use is a Celtic Cosmic Zero Degree Down sleeping bag. I, I, this I got this in a long. Oh my God, this is so nice. Very lofty. I mean, the loft on this is probably eight inches or so of loft. And I've been in some pretty cold conditions and this thing has not let me down. I would highly recommend it. It doesn't pack down very small, uh, so it's not great for uh, backpacking or anything. But for van lifers, this is the one to get. And it's actually a good value for money. It's probably the, the least expensive zero degree down bag you can get. And I highly recommend it. Very, very warm. Um, in the 40s, um, I'm too hot in it actually. Um, so I don't even zip up or I don't even use it as a mummy bag. I just use it to pull over myself. But on the colder days, if I'm somewhere like below freezing, this has been great. I don't, haven't had an issue. And I got another set of uh, curtains. This is uh, the Max Air Fan right above me. So on those hot days, I turn this on, crack a window, really creates a nice flow of wind through here. And with the tinted windows, it really, really helps cut down the heat. I haven't had an issue in like 85 degrees so far. Wait until summer comes around and we will check back. I could probably show you this so you can lift up this uh, entire mattress. Um, what I did was is make this mattress, these four pieces, all the same size. That way that first one, the one that you sit on the most, uh, doesn't get too uh, beat down. You can just swap them out. So lifting this out of the way, um, here's my vert inverter. It's a 3000 watt inverter and a bunch of other randoms. I have a lot of survival gear in here. Um, uh, 12 volt tire pumps. This is a tire plug kit. I have backup cameras and um, more of my clothes down in here. All right, let me drop this down and we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, so you, you saw my crib inside and out. And I have been city dwelling in this minivan as is for the past three months. And I haven't had a single issue with I with anything. I do remember one of my biggest fears before I started this was where am I going to park? Where am I going to park? That was my biggest question. And in a minivan, you can park anywhere. As, even with a minivan with a box and a fan and a, a hitch and it lifted up um, mine doesn't look like a typical minivan but again I haven't had a single issue uh, a quick aside I there's a another youtuber that goes by Eric enjoys earth I swear him and I have the same material bed I, I that wasn't intentional but I think if I look back at his video this is probably the same one I want this channel to be a community I've gotten so much information from people on YouTube so I wanted to join and and add to it with my own flair and my own tips and uh, I hope you come along for the ride again thank you so much for watching uh, keep an eye out for the next video it's gonna be about that hitch swing away um, it's actually really really cool um, again I've been city dwelling for three months zero issues um, we can get into all the other stories of like how people react and things like that in another video because there is a stigma around this right but if you don't care, you don't care. You live your own life. With that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.